What's up, Potato fam? It has been an insane month so far. You know, I'm actually just finishing up doing a plant and calisthenics workout and getting ready for tonight because so far I've actually knocked off all the nightclubs except three. So for tonight, I'm going to Tao at the Venetian. And the best part is, one, I've actually never been to Tao. And it's obviously a super iconic venue here on the show. It's been here a while. And two, I've actually never been inside the Venetian Hotel. So for both reasons, tonight's going to be amazing. Sure, me pones a mil. Me pones a mil. Vegas, everybody thinks of the day clubs and nightclubs, right? I mean, especially for this whole project, I'm making songs for the day clubs, nightclubs, and after hours clubs. And that's probably why I watch this video, right? You want to see, oh, is this a good nightclub? How does it look? Is it someplace I want to go to? So on and so forth. But one big thing a lot of people overlook is the hotels. As you clearly saw in the footage, right? Especially before I got to town, the Venetian, especially because I've never been there, was amazing. Probably had the best most unique layout and setup of any hotel I've been to yet in Vegas. And that's one big, big thing I want to say is that for a lot of these venues, make sure you walk through the hotel and check it out because some of the hotels don't really have much, right? You walk through a casino, they just kind of random things everywhere and you're like, all right, cool. But other hotels put so much work and effort into the art installations and all the fine details and everything. So that's one big thing I really want to say is that make sure you really do walk around the hotel, right? I mean, the hotels, in general, are just amazing. This is why I said, and I've said this in so many other Vegas videos, one big thing I suggest everybody should do when they come to Vegas is plan one night where you grab a drink, grab your friends, and walk down the strip 
and bounce and walk through every single hotel. Just because it's so amazing, all this architecture and this design, I mean, everything that goes into it, it's incredible. But anyway, now obviously jumping to the nightclub obviously, portion of this video. When I got to Tao, first off, obviously has a very Asian themed, you know, art installation, it's a basically Asian themed setting, right? As you can probably easily see from the video. So when you first get in, you actually walk through uh, like this almost like dining area, right? Like where people are sitting down and having dinner and there's a set of stairs. So you basically walked up, there were people taking pictures of people on that like rotating platform, which is basically what you saw. So I was like, you know what, let me jump in. So I, they had a bunch of props. So I just wore it and did that thing with the umbrella. I don't know if it's called an umbrella actually. I'm not sure of the, the term for that, like almost Asian style umbrella. I don't know if there's a specific term for it. But basically you have those props on, did that, then walk into the club. It was really cool about Tau basically is that you get in, there's basically one main dance floor, and then there's a mini outdoor patio, which I really like. So there's this one section I was standing in for most of the night, just because the dance floor out of most nightclubs I've been to was probably the hardest to get through. It was probably one of the most intense, hectic, chaotic, people bump into you dance floor I've been to yet, actually. And I think it's just because it was a crazy night, you know? Uh, but then you have this one section, it's kind of like this mini balcony that all, obviously overlooks the dance floor. But then you turn around and there's this outdoor balcony that you can see the entire ship off. So you saw that view and the view is beautiful. Tower itself too has obviously a lot of, like I said, kind of unique art installations, a lot of unique designs that are really Asian themed. Especially like all the writing basically on the walls and everything. It was really, really cool setup and super, super cool, cool layout. And obviously, like I said, Tower is one of the most like iconic venues i feel like when it comes to a lot of nightclubs here just because it's been here for so long a lot it's been here a lot longer than a lot of the other venues i've been covering basically on this entire project now when it comes to the vibe of tau i got a very specific one right like i said this before some clubs it takes me a while and i still don't know exactly how i'm going to produce a song for it other clubs i'm like right away i, I kind of after a while get a feel for it first off Town is definitely going to be very specifically Big Room House, right? That's the the main vibe I got from it. But the second thing is, and I think just given the, you know, the art installations, it's, I think, inevitable. It's going to have some sort of effect. I think I want to have it be Big Room House, but have the main drop instrument or synth, not necessarily be an electronic synth, but almost a organic synth or, or organic element. You know, if you think of like, um something like a good example if you think of something like tsunami by dubs right and also that's a super iconic big room track it's very electronic synthesis but if you think of animals by martin garrix they're both big room but animals by martin garrix has that kind of wood block sound and that's the vibe i'm gonna go for i think when it comes to this is have an asian maybe themed instrument or asian themed melodies especially during the verses but then especially on the drops have hard-hitting big room feel along with a lot of organic instruments to kind of combine that element of not having a lot of electronic synthesis, but still having a hardening feel of Big Room House.